Good morning. It's Sunday, April 12th, 2020, and it's Easter. Happy Easter. Uh, so I wanted to remember some memorable Easter's. Uh, growing up in Chicago, uh, well, in Dalton, on the south side of Chicago, um, we would always have uh, Easter baskets and uh, coloring eggs and Easter egg hunts. Um, if the weather was good, uh, we would uh, find the Easter eggs outside, especially in the backyard. That was always a lot of fun. Um, but if the weather was bad, and it frequently was in Chicago springtimes and all, um, we would have the Easter egg hunt indoors. And uh, I remember one year we had a chandelier, an old, heavy old chandelier hanging in the uh, living room. Uh, of our house in Dalton, and somebody put a colored egg up in the chandelier, which none of us little kids could reach, of course, and um, I think it rolled back into the center of the lamp and all, and stayed there for an, about a year or so until it was discovered the following Easter. So there was that. I also remember that, you know, for weeks... Uh, Leading up to Easter, we would prepare with um, spring cleaning of the house, washing the windows and all, and uh, uh, all kinds of things. And um, and we would always get new clothes for Easter, especially for going to church. And, you know, I was like the sixth out of seven kids, so I got a lot of hand-me-downs from my older brothers and all. But I remember we would also always go shopping for a new pair of shoes uh, at Easter time, and usually at Tom McCann, or I can't remember the name of the uh, brand of kids' shoe that was really popular. It had the name Robin in the name of it, I think. And <laughs> I remember there was a space in between the carpet in both our living room and our uh, dining room had carpets, but they weren't wall-to-wall -wall when I was a little kid. So there was this little strip of hardwood between the uh, living room and the uh, dining room. And I remember every Easter when I got my new pair of shoes, I would put on my brand-new shiny shoes and tap dance <laughs> on that little strip of wood, you know. I was a queen in training, so there was that. Um, and then a much more recent memory that I have is when I, it was just last Easter in uh, Spain, when um, my caregiver, Nico, had arrived from recently from the Ukraine, which I knew was a very Catholic country, and it was his first Easter away from his family. So I found some uh, Ukrainian food shops uh, in Madrid near the uh, train station and I bought uh, food coloring and uh, some lots of Ukrainian special food stuff uh, typical uh, for, uh, for Ukrainians at, at Easter time and um, so Nico and I colored eggs and I remember hiding the eggs not many maybe a half a dozen or so and uh, Nico was 20, I think, at the time. I mean, he was a big kid, you know, and he was just delighted to have a uh, Easter egg hunt uh, for his first Christmas, uh, first Easter away from his family. So that was a that was a fun memory. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a happy Easter.